In Japan, the term taiko refers to a broad range of percussion instruments. Drums were used in Japanese worship ceremonies to connect with their gods and were also used by monks to help meditation. Outside of Japan, the term taiko refers to the percussion ensemble kumi daiko, which uses wadaiko drums. Wadaiko drumming requires the player to use their whole body, not just the hands and wrists. Players need to maintain a strong stance with their legs and keep their upper body loose. There is a mythological origin to taiko, which is detailed in the second oldest book of Japanese classical history. In this myth, the sun goddess Amaterasu was angry with her brother Suzanu for doing a poo in her rice field and throwing a horse at her. Yes, really. So she sealed herself inside a cave, which plunged the world into darkness. The elder goddess, Ame no Ozume, eventually convinced Amaterasu to leave the cave by dancing on top of an empty sake barrel. The goddess's feet on the sake barrel is said to be the first taiko drum. Historically, taiko drums developed from Korean and Chinese influence in the 6th century, during the Kofun period. There is also archaeological evidence that they could have originated in India. The drums have a variety of uses, including communication, theater, military applications, and religious ceremony. In feudal Japan, drums were used to encourage soldiers and to issue commands on the battlefield, in the same way that we think of European knights being given orders by trumpets. Drums are also used for rhythmic and atmospheric purposes in Japanese theater, including the no and kabuki styles. The term taiko is commonly used around the world to refer to the practice of kumi daiko, which was developed by jazz musician Daihachi Oguchi in 1951. Several kumi daiko ensembles emerged in Japan in the 1950s and 60s, including Oedo Sukeroku Daiko, which was the first taiko group to tour professionally. Kumi daiko was introduced to the global stage in 1964 during the Tokyo Summer Olympics, when a performance featured in the Festival of Arts event. The practice was further developed by Den Tagayasu, who enlisted young men to join him on Sado Island, where they would practice taiko drumming along with other traditional Japanese arts. Tagayasu was particularly inspired by a form of drumming known as ondeiko, or demon drumming, which required great strength to perform. The drummers were given a strict exercise regime to ensure they could perform on deco. Traditionally, taiko drumming was an exclusively male pursuit. Women in Japan were expected to be submissive and quiet, so when women started performing taiko as a statement on gender equality, it raised a few eyebrows. Since the 1990s, it's been estimated that there are at least as many female taiko performers as male. This is just one example of how taiko drumming plays a part in social movements in Japan and around the world. Today, many groups perform modern interpretations based on the traditional Wadaiko style. For more videos on different periods and genres of music, please visit our YouTube channel and subscribe if you like what you see.